In physics, the wiedemann franz law is the ratio of the electronic contribution of the thermal conductivity to the electrical conductivity of a metal, and is proportional to the temperature. Theoretically, the proportionality constant L, known as the Lorentz number, is equal to this empirical law is named after Gustav Wiedemann and Rudolf Franz, who in 1853 reported that kappa, sigma has approximately the same value for different metals at the same temperature. The proportionality of kappa, sigma with temperature was discovered by Ludwig Lorenz in 1872. Qualitatively, this relationship is based upon the fact that the heat and electrical transport both involve the free electrons in the metal. The mathematical expression of the law can be derived as following. Electrical conduction of metals is a well-known phenomenon and is attributed to the free conduction electrons, which can be measured as sketched in the figure. The current density J is observed to be proportional to the applied electric field and follows Ohm's law where the prefactor is the specific electrical conductivity. Since the electric field and the current density are vectors Ohm's law is expressed here in bold face. The conductivity can in general be expressed as a tensor of the second rank. Here we restrict the discussion to isotropic, i.e., scalar conductivity. The specific resistivity is the inverse of the conductivity. Both parameters will be used in the following. Druda realized that the phenomenological description of conductivity can be formulated quite generally, although the phenomenological description is incorrect for conduction electrons, it can serve as a preliminary treatment. The assumption is that the electrons move freely in the solid like in an ideal gas. The force applied to the electron by the electric field leads to an acceleration according to this would lead, however, to an infinite velocity. The further assumption therefore is that the electrons bump into obstacles once in a while which limits their free flight. This establishes an average or drift velocity VD. The drift velocity is related to the average scattering time as becomes evident from the following relations. Temperature dependence. The value L0 equals 2.44 times 10 minus 8 W omega K minus 2 results from the fact that at low temperatures the heat and charge currents are carried by the same quasi-particles, electrons or holes. At finite temperatures two mechanisms produce a deviation of the ratio from the theoretical Lorentz value L0. Other thermal carriers such as phonon or manions in elastic scattering. In the zero temperature limit in elastic scattering is weak and promotes large Q scattering values is favored. For each electron transported a thermal excitation is also carried and the Lorentz number is reached L equals L0. Note that in a perfect metal, inelastic scattering would be completely absent in the limit K and the thermal conductivity would vanish. At finite temperature small Q scattering values are possible an electron can be transported without the transport of an thermal excitation L less than L0. In every system at higher temperature the contribution of phonon to thermal transport is important. This can lead to L greater than L0. Above the Debye temperature the phonon contribution to thermal transport is constant and the ratio L is again found constant. For references C, limitations of the theory, experiments have shown that the value of L, while roughly constant, is not exactly the same for all materials. Kittel gives some values of L ranging from L equals 2.23 times 10 minus 8 W omega K minus 2 for copper at 0 degrees Celsius to L equals 3.2 times 10 minus 8 W omega K minus 2 for tungsten at 100 degrees Celsius. Rosenberg notes that the wiedemann franz law is generally valid for high temperatures and for low temperatures, but may not hold at intermediate temperatures. In many high-purity metals both the electrical and thermal conductivities rise as temperature is decreased. In certain materials, however, the value of L also may decrease with temperature. 
In the purest samples of silver and at very low temperatures, L can drop by as much as a factor of 10. In degenerate semiconductors, the Lorenz number L has a strong dependency on certain system parameters, dimensionality, strength of interatomic interactions and Fermi level. This law is not valid or the value of the Lorenz number can be reduced at least in following cases. Manipulating electronic density of states, varying doping density and layer thickness in superlattices and materials with correlated carriers.